Hi everybody, welcome to FabTax. I'm Rosemary and uh, I have a question. Have you ever found yourself in one of those higher end stores looking at the mirrors and saying, mirror, mirror on the wall. You are the most beautiful of them all, but how could I ever afford you without breaking the law? Well, this video may just have your answer as we will be recreating all of these higher end mirrors at just a fraction of the store price. So let's go ahead and get started. First up is this Peruvian Sun Mirror from West Elm retailing at $89. To recreate this mirror, I use one of these small round mirrors from the Dollar Tree and then two packs of these erasers from the Dollar Tree that are found in the teacher section and then one pack of these one inch craft mirrors that I got from Hobby Lobby. First, I'm going to remove the mirror from the frame. And you can see that there's little like plastic tabs that hold the back on, and it's just simply just pop the mirror portion right out of the frame. Then I took a ruler and I wanted to mark the top and bottom of the frame. So I just used a paint marker and just marked top and bottom, and then turned the ruler the other way to mark the two sides. Now this is just going to create a reference point where I can place my four erasers. These uh, four erasers are just gonna be like my guidance ones. Uh, so I'll just have those four ones placed first and then I'll be able to space evenly the erasers that go in between. So it's the four uh, top, bottom and two sides and then three in between those. That way it just makes it easier to eyeball how you, you need to space them. Once that's done and I think I have them pretty evenly lined up, I will go back with my paint marker again and just mark the spaces so when I glue them, I know where to go. Then using my glue gun, I'll just put a dab of hot glue on the side where that dot is and then hold the little eraser in place until that is uh, that glue has dried and then I'll go on to the next little dot. And notice I am putting the side without the art print on uh, the front because that art print will come through the paint. Once I had attached all my erasers with the hot glue, I did go back uh, in the backs of them with some E6000 to give an extra secure hold to the little erasers. So I'm just kind of going underneath and in behind to make sure I'm also getting some uh, nice adherence with the E6000. Once the glue was dry, I took some of this Krylon um, Brilliant Gold spray paint and a spray paint at the front and back. Then it was time to attach the mirrors. And so I just took a little dab of the E6000, put it in the center of each of my little painted erasers, and then just attached the little mirrors. And this is what it looks like with all the mirrors attached. And then it was just a matter of placing back the mirror into the frame. And to do that, I just reversed what I did to get it out. I just placed it back into the frame and then uh, popped it back through those little plastic tabs uh, all the way around. And here are the two versions side by side. On the left is the West Elm one, and the right hand side has the recreation. They are different sizes. The um, West Elm one is either an eight inch or a 14 inch at 49 and 89, and the FabTax one was a 10 inch version. Project number two is this pretty butterfly mirror, and um, several retailers do have this. They had a version at Pier One, Pottery Barn, and this one is from Horchow Online. To make this one, I used the wreath form from the Dollar Tree, as well as these butterfly stickers. I did use uh, eight packs of those. And then um, also this 10 inch mirror from Michaels that I got for $2.39. When attaching the butterflies to the wreath form, I'm going to just use those back wire rings. That first wire ring I'm going to leave free because I'm that's where I'm going to apply the mirror. So I'm going to just start there on that second ring and just apply the butterflies kind of just flying around in different in different directions up down sideways and go all around those three back rings. To attach them I am using my Nemesis hot glue uh, because of course we want them to stick on better than the sticker adhesive will allow. Since I knew I was going to end up painting this all gold, I just um, grabbed a bunch of different stickers 
But after applying these, I thought how pretty it would look just to keep them as is without painting them gold and to have just gotten either a bunch of different colors and, and made you know the butterflies all different colors or uh, just done one uniform color. Uh, but yeah, don't you think they would look so pretty? Just maybe uh, paint the frame, uh, the wire wreath, just with maybe that silver backing of the butterflies and then just go ahead and and make this all different colors or make it all one color. Um, but we're gonna just do it the high-end version and paint it all gold. So here's what it looks like after it was painted gold. And now I'm gonna go ahead and on that bottom rung, I'm going to add some E6000 glue and then just place my uh, Michael's mirror right in, uh, just kind of move the butterflies out of the way. It'll be pretty as they kind of float over the top of the mirror as well and then just get that mirror down on that bottom ring. And then once it's down, I'm actually gonna to wanna to flip it over as well. And cause you'll see that the mirror does have some gaps. It's only sticking on certain points. So I wanna go back and backfill all of those little gaps with nice hearty amounts there of the E6000. And then I'm gonna flip it back over again and just weight it down. I just have some candles there that I'm weighting it down with so that I'm making sure that the wire and the mirror are touching while it dries. And here are the two versions side by side. Now they look kind of similar, but of course there is a huge difference in the price and obviously the quality, um, but the size is also considerably different on this version with the store-bought ones coming in at around 30 to 36 inches in diameter and the Dollar Tree version is only about 17 inches. Still a pretty sizable uh, mirror, but um, much smaller than the others. Project number three is an eye mirror and it has several different versions from different retailers as well, including Urban Outfitters, Pottery Barn, and World Market. This one here is from World Market. To make this one, I use one of the little round Dollar Tree mirrors again, and then two of the Dollar Tree shower caddies. Using a pair of wire cutters, I cut the handle of the shower caddy just above that first crossbar on the shower caddy. The wire cuts pretty easily, but if I'm having trouble, I usually do find that it helps if I use two hands. And then um, on the same shower caddy, I'm also going to remove the two shelves that have the wires coming across. So it's basically those two bottom shelves. And I'm gonna cut them off right where they attach to the main frame. And then I'll just repeat the process for the other shower caddy. When all my cuts are done, I should have two handles and then four of the shelves. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove that mirror from the frame, doing the same way, just popping it out of those little plastic tabs that are in the back of the mirror. Next, I'm gonna use my wire cutters again to remove that top wire from the shelf. So as you see, I'm just kind of going through at the top and just removing it. Um, you, what I'm basically making there are the eyelashes to the eyes. So uh, make the shelves look like eyelashes is basically what you want to think of doing while you're doing this. So if it's getting a little confusing as to wait, which way am I cutting it? Think of it, well, how would it look like if I was making eyelashes? Next, I want to just take a pair of pliers and straighten out that little curve that um, is in the handle of the shower caddy. So I just want to kind of straighten that out so that when I attach my eyelashes, the two pieces are nice and even. Then I'm going to actually take that first eyelash and I'm gonna pull it all the way up to the end of my wire because uh, I just want to cut that piece off, that excess, so that the first eyelash is flush with the bottom um, wire that is the handle. And then I wanna zip tie everything uh, on, zip tie the two together and I'm gonna do this again so it'll make a little more sense the next time. But just suffice to say at this stage, I just zip tied those two pieces together and then I'm gonna go back and remove the tails with my wire cutter. And then I'm gonna just take the bottom piece now and I'm again going to straighten that out because it has that little curve in it. And then I'm going to take another one of my eyelashes and this time I'm gonna shorten them a little cause this is gonna be a bottom lash. So it's gonna go ahead and just shorten those up. 
And then when I do attach them to the bottom part of the handle of what was the previous handle, I am again going to line that first eyelash up with the edge of the wire and then remove that excess. Then I'm going to take my zip ties and these are the little um, black ones that come from the Dollar Tree. They come red, white and um, black in a package and this is the tiniest ones they have is the little black ones. And so I just put the zip tie in and then uh, just spin that around so that, you know, just the front smooth part is going to be at the front. And then I'll just do that with all of them and uh, attach them all the way across and then just remove the tails with my wire cutter. And then I have my top and bottom eyelashes for the left hand of my eye. Now on the right hand side of the eye, I'm going to actually uh, do the same thing. Just push, uh, put, straighten up that one edge and then go back. But this time I see how I want to have this a proper spacing between my eyelashes. So uh, I'm going, I'm not going to do flush like I did on the other side. I'm going to just leave it a little bit of an edge there so that it'll give me enough space so that my eyelashes aren't right on top of each other left and right. So this way it just gives me a little bit of an edge and then my eyelash looks right. So then I'm going to go and again zip tie the two pieces together. I'm going to remove a little bit of the bottom lash again. So I'm, I'm taking off about a third of the length and then again straightening out that little curve on the bottom. And then I just attached my bottom lash again, giving it enough kind of measuring it up and saying, okay, where, where's the right spacing for my eyelashes to be far enough apart that it doesn't, it looks seamless. And then I just remove that little piece and then I can go and attach my eyelashes to the bottom part of the handle. Now, once that's all done, you can see where the two pieces can come together to form what looks like an eye. To attach the metal pieces to the frame, I'm now going to go and bend them back again. Uh, so I just bent the piece straight, but now I'm going to go ahead and kind of, now that it's attached to my eyelashes, I want to just kind of bend just that tip around and just see, you know, how it's going to sit on the frame and then do the same on the bottom. Just give it a little bend. And this time I'm kind of straightening it out a little bit because you guess, you know, it has to kind of just work with it to see how it's going to fit around your frame. And then once I got a good fit on the left hand side, I did the same thing to the right hand side. I just uh, took my pliers, kind of bent it around uh, both top and bottom, just trying to uh, get that good eye shape curve around the frame. Then I just took a ruler and I just again wanted to mark the top and bottom so that I can line my wires up properly um, in the middle of the frame. And here I'm just pointing out that the eyelashes are actually behind the handle. So um, it, you can see there that that wire that makes up the eyelashes is behind the wire that was the previous handle on the shower caddy. Next I'm going to use some hot glue or actually a lot of hot glue and then just put the two pieces together and hold in place until that glue sets.
just replace the mirror by putting it back into the frame. And you do that again just by um, tapping it right back underneath of those little tabs in the back. And here are the two pieces together. And these two actually are very comparable in size. The World Market version is about 18 inches across and the Dollar Tree version is about 17 inches across. Project four is this Crate and Barrel Remy Mirror. For this project, I started with this 14 inch beveled edge mirror I purchased from Michaels for $4.79. To mimic the wood portion of the Crate and Barrel Mirror, I uh, was choosing between this contact paper from the Dollar Tree and then um, two of these pieces of scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels. The Crate and Barrel one is the lighter color, so I decided to go ahead and use the Dollar Tree version. And um, plus I wouldn't have to mess with any Mod Podge or anything like that because of course this has a self-adhesive. And then I just cut out that little half moon shape and pressed it right down and then just grabbed one of these little chip clips, painted it black, and that made the little doohickey, as my aunt would say, in the middle. Next I'm going to attach the hanger, which I got in a pack of hangers from Michaels. And I'm going to uh, attach it with some E6000 glue. I'm going to use the heaviest hanger that they had, the biggest one. And then I'm going to put a huge amount of the E6000 again, and I'm going to let it set up for at least 48 hours. And here is the finished project, but sad story. This is actually the only picture I have because I broke it. I went to go clean those little smudges down there at the bottom and in my rush, I knocked it right off the counter. It smashed on the ceramic floor into a million pieces. So RIP little crate and barrel dupe. You were cute while you lasted. And here are the two versions side by side. Again, there is a considerable size difference in the two versions. Um, one is 30 inches, the other is 14. Of course, a nice big difference in the price as well. And at 14 inches, the duplicate is still pretty sizable. Project number five is this World Market Floating Hayden Mirror. To make this project, I used one of these wreath rings sets that I got from Walmart for $2.88 for a set of three. And I'm gonna just use the medium and large size ring from this set. And then I also picked up a 10 inch mirror that I also purchased from Michaels for $2.39. This one came together pretty easy. All I did was put some E6000 on the mid-sized ring and then placed it right on the 10 inch mirror. I pushed it up a little bit and then underneath of that ring, I added some more E6000. And then I just placed the uh, larger ring on top of that. And then I went back with a little more of the E6000 to make sure I had enough and that I was going to get a really strong bond. And then I just placed a book on top to make sure that the wires were down tight up against the glass and that they would adhere to each other for a strong bond. After the glue was dry, I then went and added the hanger in the back again using some E6000 to attach. And this I would let sit up at least 48, maybe even 72 hours to make sure that that thing holds. And here are the two versions side by side. Now they do look pretty similar, but the remake is about one third smaller. So it still has a good size at about 14 inches, but um, it is smaller than the original. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this high-end mirror dupe video. And I did have several others I was going to include, but didn't want to do an overkill. So please let me know if you'd like to see more projects like this. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. If you have a favorite or plan to do any of these, please let me know in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on FabTax, where we're putting the extra and ordinary one DIY at a time.